Let's go back in time to a prehistoric era. The paddlefish, an oar snouted species with fossil records to the late Cretaceous period over 70 million years ago. Similar to sturgeon and gar, the paddlefish is held together with cartilage, no bones. The paddle is believed to be helpful in locating food. Its diet is why permit-drawing anglers must catch it during an October snagging season. Nebraska Game and Parks fisheries biologist Daryl Bauer. Paddlefish are filter feeders, and if you look at the, um, the anatomy of those fish, they've got real fine gill rakers. And when they're feeding, they literally open that mouth and swim around with their mouth open, filtering plankton out of the water. So they don't take typical baits and lures that you'd use to catch fish. The paddlefish is truly a brew to the Missouri River system. On October 9th of 2015, Tom Keller of Malcolm was in his second day of casting into the Muddy Mo when he caught a new state record weighing just over 113 pounds. Didn't think it was all that big. It started going downstream. Probably 10 to 15 minutes of actual fight time. Um, like I said, it, it wasn't a barn burner. It didn't zip line out like you would expect a big fish like that. It was just more like pulling in a chunk of driftwood. Standard equipment pretty much. I had a whooping stick, a Cabela's reel, and 50 pound braided line. As soon as it got in a shallow enough water where it wasn't up and down, it turned onto its side we realized we had a great big fish on our hands. And at that point, uh, I started just shaking and getting excited and yelling. Paddlefish are officially measured from the front of the eye to the fork of the tail. If measured from snout to tail tip, Tom's catch was just under six feet long. The official dimensions outweighed the previous 2011 record by over five pounds. Bauer has a theory on why these recent catches are so much larger than other paddlefish. The girth of those fish, the fatness of those fish suggests that they um, live their lives in the reservoir, likely the reservoir right above the Gavin's Point Dam, Lewis and Clark Reservoir. Um, those paddlefish in reservoirs don't have to fight as much river current and they have a lot of food in those reservoirs, very productive, and that produces big fat fish. It didn't take long for Tom to start thinking about wall space for this monster. I talked to a, a taxidermist up there and he said that the skin's real oily and they, they tend to rot. And he said, uh, it'd be better off getting a, a fiberglass mount. And my wife was real happy with that because she loves paddlefish. Tom's wife, Lisa, will have a lot of paddlefish to prepare. The meat filled 14 quart-sized freezer bags.